Good morning, I'm economist Woody O'Brien. Today is March the 13th, 2014. I wanna take a couple of minutes today and talk to you about income fragility and the middle class. It's pretty easy to see that as the rich get richer and the poor get poorer, in this terrible economy, the middle class is being hollowed out. Their real wages are falling, the amount that they're paying for health care uh, is rising, the amount that they're paying for basic commodities like food and fuel are rising based on Federal Reserve money printing and inflation. And more people who work in the private sector, including people like me who've done very well over the years, have to worry about how secure their income is. This is essentially income for fragility. Uh, a good way to think about this is somebody who looks at works at your local post office, works full time, has benefits, has been there a while, they don't really have to fear unemployment. The mail is going to continue, the government's going to continue to exist, uh, the post office will just raise the price of stamp, and they don't really have to worry about their income. Uh, they have uh, uh, the opposite of income uh, fragility, uh, they have income stability. And of course, people are not willing to spend very much and invest if they think they possibly can be unemployed, if they work in a job where they have to worry about whether their health insurance is good. And this is leading to a really serious problem that young people who look at how the rewards of the private sector have uh, work have fallen, especially in being an entrepreneur, start to think about the stability that comes with uh, government uh, work and work for government contractors. And unfortunately, this is quickly leading uh, to an economy where in 10 years, at the pace it is that we're going, the only people who will be middle class will be people who will be government workers. And this is a terrible problem for the incentives. We need a lot more people in the profitable uh, private sector employ uh, employment than we do in public sector employment. But in fact, the tables are now so stacked if I was a 21-year-old and wanted to live a middle-class life, boy, I'd be thinking about a government job. So we really have to think in terms of policy and every time we hear things about the economy, think about this income fragility because this is a very, very important factor going forward. Again, I'm economist Michael Woody O'Brien. My investment newsletter information is online at woodyknowsmarkets.com. And... Uh, my life's work, of course, abolishfiatslavery.com. Good to be with you today.